this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an effects send in Logic Pro. Typically when you add effects, you insert them on the individual track, as you can see with this compressor that I have on this guitar solo. There are many times, however, that inserting an effect on an aux track and creating a send to it is a better option. The general rule of thumb is that effects such as EQ and compression are inserted on individual tracks, whereas reverb and delay are typically inserted on aux tracks. You see, when you add EQ and compression, the goal is to apply it to the entire signal. When you add reverb and delay, however, it's often useful to insert it on an aux track and create a send so that you can send only the amount you want to the effect, rather than washing the entire signal through it. So let me demonstrate. Let's take a listen to this guitar solo. Pretty cool solo, but it could definitely use some reverb to add a little space and bring it to life. So here's how to do it. I'm going to go to my guitar track and click and hold on send and then choose bus. Now as you can see, Logic is giving me a number of different buses to choose from. Buses are like pathways that are used to direct audio signals along so that they can be routed to other places like an aux track in this case. So I'm going to simply choose my first available bus, which is bus 1. Now, notice that Logic has created an aux track right here, which has bus 1 as its input. I'm now going to go to my first plugin window and insert a reverb. Reverb, Space Designer, Stereo. I'm now going to choose this preset called Warm Hall that I like. Now let's just run through the signal flow quickly. My guitar signal is coming through my channel strip, but is simultaneously being sent along bus 1. And since my aux track has bus 1 as its input, the guitar signal is being sent to the aux track, which has my reverb plugin. Now let's hit play and see what happens. <laughs> Well, as you can hear, there's still no reverb. Well, that's because I haven't sent any volume to the aux track yet. So go over to your send, and as you can see, I have this volume knob. Well, when you turn up the volume of your send, you're essentially turning up the amount of guitar signal that is going to your aux track, which contains your reverb. Let's try it. As we're listening to the track, I'm going to slowly turn up the reverb. Here we go, that sounds good. So here's the original track with the send bypassed. Now here's the track with the send to the reverb on. So you see, putting your reverb on the aux track gives you greater flexibility than inserting it on the individual track. Not only does it allow you to send whatever amount of signal you want via the send volume knob, it gives you the opportunity to do cool things like pan the reverb to a different position than the original dry track. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.